Hello, welcome to LMC and Knowledge, Lyrics Music Channel of Spiritual Insight and Wisdom that I will share to you so you can take along your spiritual journey. I hope you're having a good day, good night, wherever you're at. And whenever you see this, make sure that you're prayed up and in that light of Jesus. Sorry, I'm lighting this, <clears throat> this incense. But we're gonna get into it. I just wanted to smell it. Okay. So, okay. So, I'm gonna use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. Oh, okay. That was not a. I didn't hit it yet. It kind of bumped into the chair and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. <sighs> okay. So the message that I have for you guys today is God channels through you. You go through good and bad the bad and good the beautiful and the ugly the in and the out you go through everything with god <clears throat> you are recognizing god through it all you see god in everything you feel the vibration of god and you are that you the energy you are in the energy of God. You are the frequency of God. Everything is meant to happen. Everything is meant to change. You're aware of the cycles of life, the cycles of the universe, the cycles of the multi-universe, the cycles of the multi-dimensional multi frequency plane that we ride in, we flow in, um, or sometimes people fall in. Um, you know, depends on their life experience. That's their perception of life at that moment. And you realize beyond this life, you know, that you, it's like, I don't know, sorry, I'm just, I just got stuck in this energy of, wow, I can feel your energy. It's really amazing. It makes me feel like I'm in more at flow now. Like, I don't know. You, you have really good energy. Really, really good energy. So with the cards that we got, though, because I was like, I'm a shuffle before because that's what I like to do. Um, we got obstacles and challenges in the universe. So, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, it has to be like, okay. Yeah, number five number 21 um add those as eight but number five could be of your life path or 21 could be significant for you or something significant happened in 2021 i'm hearing like somebody's spirit guide saying like um reach out to me at any time like connect with me at any time ask for my help like i'm still working i'm still there's still a purpose for me is what somebody's passed on loved one saying so that's just all i had to say for that right there but um obstacles and challenges in the universe just like what i said you go through the bad and the good you see I like how the i set it up because i'm reading it this way right um you go through the bad and the good with God. So what I said, we all be feeling and we be praying to God like there, you know, we became believers from going through a dark time in our life. Right. Or some of us came, were already a believer um, when they were a child, you know, just depends on what time you awaken, what time did you open up to God and become fully aware of God's existence in your life and your importance in this life and knowing that your mission it's the only thing you should be doing on this planet, on this earth plane. You're supposed to be in your mission. So, yeah. So, 
So with that being said, you see God in everything. So it's like the universe. It's like you become, when I said you are the frequency of God, you, that's what you embody. And all of us should be able to embody our frequency of God all the, all the time. Um, but not a lot of people get to experience that, you know, and that's why I said in my last video, a few videos ago, I said you have a godly presence, or you, God is in your presence, or you, ex what a, I think I said, I don't know, remember the title, but yeah, I was just saying how, like, in order for people to truly feel God, like, without praying or knowing what's real before they're a believer, they're going to see a believer, they're going to see somebody um, embodying that God belief, that God frequency, and it's gonna make people change. I just seen five 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 with that. It's gonna make people change. So, uh, like how I said, everything is meant to happen. Everything is meant to change. If you called on to God when you're obviously people are gonna call on to God when they're going through it, right? Obviously. But it's like God wants you to keep that same energy or you've been already keeping that same energy. Like things have been getting better in your life. Slowly but surely it is getting brighter, you know. Um, you believe in God, right? You're praying and you're praying and you're praying. But sometimes people pray harder when they're going through the worst. But it's like God wants you to acknowledge him just as much as you were when you were in, when you were in that dark, when you were going through that cycle. That dark time when you needed God, you said, God, please. Now I'm hearing uh, footsteps and footprints in the sand. Like, God was like, I'm there. These not even your feet. I'm carrying you right now. You know? Divine. I just see this circle as like a circle of protection. And it's like, you thought this was your feet. Because remember, it was only one pair, one pair of feet in the sand that he could see. He thought that was him. God was like, no, I'm carrying you. So it's like, you, you realize God has been carrying you through the good, I mean, through the bad, and through the good, though, he's gonna carry you either way, because you his baby, no matter what age, you know, he's still holding you like a baby in the spiritual realm, like, you, he cares about you more than any human could care for you, like, they could say, I love you every second until the day they ascend, transcend out of this earth, and it still wouldn't be the amount that God has for you, you know, so, yeah, uh, it's not like God trying to flex. He's just like, you know that nothing is bigger than God, right? Nothing in this world, no life situation, nothing that we go through is bigger than God. And when God says, don't worry, when he keeps telling us to lean on him, lean on him, you're actually doing it. But it's like certain people, they, they get there, they get what they want, and then they stop praying as much. They stop being God up as much as they was, you know. Like before, you know how like people get in relationships and then they talk um, on the phone for like eight hours or go to sleep on the phone, all that type of stuff. But we don't talk to God as much as we talk to that boy on the phone or that girl on the phone or that person. Um, and it's just showing like if you could give that time to God that you give to other people. He will put way, way, way more time in for you. Like, it's God knows how much you can take. And he knows how much He he's going to give you. Um, and he's not going to give you too much to the point where you're going to break at all. But it's like God knows your limits. Well, the limits that you put on yourself. And he kind of uses those until you release them. You know, so until you, you still got them limitations on any aspect of your life, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use those. So it's going to make you realize them and release them. And that's, I'm just seeing you free, released. Released from fear, released from lack, released from the emotions of fear, the emotions, the energy of fear, the energy of lack. Um, you're becoming numb, immune to these, these labels that have have energies attached to it. Everything has an energy attached to it. So labels, yes. Even your names, your titles, your roles as a human being, you know. <sighs> That's deep. But yeah, it's like God channels through you. So with that being said, he can literally use you like at any moment in time. He can send you at the right place at the right time to do the right thing. 
um, or change the right mind or change the minds of God um, to a different frequency. Like our thoughts have to be higher. Our love has to be higher. It's like, I don't know. Uh, I do know, but <laughs> I don't know. I'll be saying that sometimes. Sometimes. But yeah, so I'm going to pull one more card to see what else. And then we can close it out so it don't take forever to load. Because I don't got time for it. Okay. God, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? What else does my soul family need to know? I'm hearing like God said he was there for you through that heartbreak or something, through that heartache. It's like God is your rider and you know that. And it's like... <clears throat> With God, you're standing your ground. Like, with God, you speak boldly and proud. You you're no, you have no fear for man. What can man do to me? Recognition and reward. So, it's just like somebody is going to be rewarded for their, their um, worship of God. Worship of the Lord. Or like, you're just speaking on God's behalf you know what i mean i just seen 1144 but yeah you speak on god's behalf um setting the record straight like you 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 preach the word of god or you're you just speak of god or you just you you defend god's name and you're proving it with your actions and your obedience but yeah you defend you're defending god's name and that's why you're going to be recognized. So the fact that God's channeling through you, he can speak to his people through you. You could be a medium, a tarot reader, or um, just somebody who delivers messages. You're a messenger of God. You're a prophetic. You're a prophet. Or you're just somebody of who has connection to the divine. You you are a phone line to the divine. Like, And people, energies can use you like good positive energies. Like if you're a medium, a psychic medium, they want to... They want to choose you to do their reading and say you do it on YouTube. So it's like they're in the spiritual realm. You're a celebrity in the spiritual realm already, literally. literally because it's like, it's hard to get... It, I'm just saying, it's it's not easy to be obedient completely with God. Like being celibate all the way or being sober all the way or whatever God has called you to do. To change your life and open you up to the truth. <laughs> open you up to the truth so you can send other people on their way it's like a journey like you travel in the spirit realms gain all this knowledge this sacred wisdom and then you bring it to the you bring it you bring it to this realm and you pour it out on your social platforms or you pour it out in person like everything that you're gaining through meditation or through going out in nature, everything that you're researching, you're reading books or something, you're writing, you're just soaking up a lot of knowledge or looking like you're you're brainwashing yourself to you're brainwashing yourself with positivity. Like you're just doing good things consistently. You can be listening to subliminals, you could be working out, you could be cooking, you could be just serving, being a worker for God and you just feel the increase. You feel the increase, you feel your relationship is getting stronger. Your bonds are getting stronger on your family. You're loving them deeper. You're loving on on deeper planes. It's like you're you're really you're really in that light of God. Like you're really in that lane. And it's like if it was dark, and this is not really how it is, but it is. This is one way that I um, my perception of the spiritual realm. So it's like imagine. It's dark and then you send a prayer and rays of light, like just different colors, whatever color you go by. It could be a rainbow, it could be a specific color, it could be yellow, it could be white. And your energy just increased like a, you see, like when a fire is about to start and then that light that you just see that light right there and then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like, that's how your energy is when you pray. Your energy is just people like. There's 
like, I don't know. I, it's just a lot of things that's going on in my head right now. It's like, spirits can are literally helping you send off that energy when you pray. And also, like, you your energy, like, for protection, if you've been doing protection prayers, like, it's been literally, like, burning the, the negative energies. Like, as soon as they try to get close and then you pray and it just, like, the lake of fire just burning them, like... I'm seeing their whole, the energy, the en entity um, just evaporating or just like disappearing because of how bad it hurts. Like it just instantly kills anything negative or transmutes anything negative. But yeah, I am fulfillment of wishes. So you know the truest fulfillment is peace, joy, and knowledge from within like you being able, nobody can take away your knowledge, nobody can take away your gifts, nobody can take away the the gifts of the divine. Did you, you realize the gifts of the divine are always something that you have on hand? So it's like me doing music. Um, I can go anywhere and use my voice, sing. I can go to the studio, sing, make a song. I can create right here, right now. And I need me. That's, you get what I mean? Like you need you, something that's already within you. Say you're a painter. And you just do, you do a great job of painting and people want to pay for your painting or you do hair. And it's just, you need your hands to do hair, right? So it's, it's a divine gift that you are, that's getting stronger and you're using it to make you fulfilled in life. You realize this gift can, you can travel with this gift. This isn't a gift that has to be on a, in a building like limited, like you're unlimited. Your gifts are unlimited and you just know that you're meant to be a voice for God, you know, and a messenger to help deliver messages um, from the spiritual realm to the physical realm. You're like the mailman, the mail lady, you know, of the spiritual realm. The mailman, the mail lady of the spiritual realm, that's cool. Like, delivery, message, like, you, you got that key part. And people in me, like people who are grieving, you know, like I said, what you might, you, if you're a tarot reader, you grieving, you know, them grieving, and then you just being able to deliver the messages. But this is at 17 minutes, so I have to stop right now. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.